So, jetzt befinden so now I am here in the middle of a group of panicle hydrangeas. The panicle hydrangea is again a very special group of hydrangeas. The panicle hydrangea is currently very popular. It has a completely different one flower shape. That is one of those rhombus. Such a high elongated diamond shape. The flower itself is also significantly higher and the plant becomes also significantly higher than, for example, a mop head or lace cap hydrangea. So this representative of the panicle hydrangeas will also be up to 3 meters high or even a little more higher. And the growth of these plants is more like a shrub, so vase shaped. Below a bit narrower and at the top they go so wide, funnel shaped apart. And the peculiarity of these panicle hydrangeas is also that they can stand fully sunny. So in the blazing sun they thrive wonderfully. Different from our representative of the serrata or called mountain hydrangeas, which hate sun. So they can stand fully sunny, they even really like it. And there is, as you can see, now a bunch of varieties. And that's my favorite plant. It is opening so nicely here. It is the variety limelight. Limelight that is a green white in the bud now in the early bud. And the limelight goes in the next weeks and months then white and then fades into soft pink in October. So it also has again such a beautiful shimmer the color from green to white to delicate pink. Very very nice. Sehr sehr schön. Um, Then we have a completely different one here, an elongated flower shape with showy blossoms. This is the great star variety. The diamond, the flower panicle is afterwards, when they are really full rises, 20 centimeters high. And therefore great star, because it has, like the lace cap hydrangea, showy blossoms around the panicle. And they look like little stars. And not to forget, also one of my favorite varieties, is Vim's Red. Vim's red therefore, it is now a delicate whitish green on. The flower is also quite elongated. She has a few showy blossoms here too, as with the lace cap hydrangea. But when it gets a little colder and we have September, October then the white flower becomes a real one raspberry red to burgundy red flowers. So the whole panicle is then actually strong pink red. And this is an eye catcher. Especially in late summer until frost is Vim's red a blast. Bis zum Frost ist Vim's red echt, ja, ein Knaller. Jetzt sind wir angelangt bei den sogenannten Now we have come to the so-called rough leaf hydrangeas. The rough leaf hydrangeas grow to be imposing and large hydrangea bushes. They bloom also somewhat later. So it's July now so the rough leaf hydrangeas is here not even in bud. But you see the huge foliage and we suspect yes, these hydrangeas grow very large. They'll be around two and a half to three meter high. Should also absolutely little get sun, so should stand in partial shade. And if there is sun, then you should have a location use where the sun breaks through tall trees. So a light shadow would be ideal. And they are also a bit sensitive. In the first year of standing, if you buy them you should create, also as with the oak leaf hydrangea, a winter protection around the root area. And now there is in this group of rough leaf hydrangeas a novelty. For a couple of years. The variety, hot chocolate. You see, this foliage is also quite large. Not quite as big as the normal one. But this variety has a beautiful red underside of leaves, what a bit reminiscent of hot chocolate. And the bloom is then so pink purple. The flowering time is a little later, in July and then extends into the September October. Ein bisschen später Juli und reicht dann so bis in den September Oktober. Eine weitere Gruppe der Hortensien Another group of the group of velvet leaf hydrangeas. The velvet leaf hydrangeas just have even hairier leaves. So they are in habitus similar. They will be two and a half up to three meters high. And as you can see that go to a little earlier blossom. We have already in July very beautiful flowers that look like this are plate shaped. And again here, as with the lace cap hydrangeas, the flowers are in purple and on the outside the staples are white. 
The demands are similar, so also here, you should looking for a partially shaded garden situation. And they think it's very good when they stands on nutrient-rich soils. So here for this big one deciduous hydrangeas would need to be supplied with nutrients are made optimal. But I'll come back to that later on the subject of fertilization. Now we have here two representatives that are climbing plants. So these are hydrangeas which do not grow like a bush, but just climb. On house walls or even high on tree trunks. And that includes classic climbing hydrangea, like we have here. The climbing hydrangea loves the sun. So she can also stand in full sun. Very nice. Here with us in Berlin we have a lot of sand pines to stand in gardens and there can to get the climbing hydrangea nicely off plants. If it gets a lot of sun, that's really great. It bloomed around June, July. So it is now unfortunately already faded. It blooms quite quickly. You can now after the cut the flower heavily, then it sprouts beautiful through and blooms again completely great in the course of the summer. And when you plant the new one, in the first year or in the second and sometimes in the third year, then it's a bit lazy sometimes that concerns climbing. So it is not so quickly in the first few years. But when it is once properly established, it grows nicely. Then it goes in no time at all whole trunks high and so is very undemanding. And also easy to maintain. It is so relatively straightforward. A diva on the other hand it's a little bit that schizophrygma hydrangea or also called hydrangea vine, it still blooms here, and the flower also looks significantly different. At the climbing hydrangea is it a real umbel and here it is more like another panicle, as with the panicle hydrangea. And you see already, it climbs. Yes, but it climbs slowly, bizarre. It's not straightforward, I would say. It is slow, as I said, at growth and takes time. But it also has a charm because of this bizarre, weird, is very beautiful. But you must also bind them to. It makes reluctant to own adhesive roots. But the bloom is quite good. How said, like a panicle. Again with the leaves around the panicle. And the claim is similar to that climbing hydrangea. Not very high, and it shouldn't stand completely sunny. It can be used in the garden partially shaded to sunny. And I have here again shown in a table which hydrangeas love the sun and which ones the shadow. So shade loving hydrangeas. So under wood and in forest situations. This includes the smooth hydrangea, the rough leaf, and velvet leaf hydrangea, and the oak leaf hydrangea. Suitable for partial shade hydrangeas, so that is where a little bit by the hour sun exposure comes in. Or maybe on the edge of a wooded corner. This includes the smooth hydrangea, the rough leaf hydrangea, the velvet leaf hydrangea, the big leaf hydrangea, panicle hydrangea, oak leaf hydrangea, and the serrata types. And then the third group. This is really about sun and light shade. So where mostly is direct sunlight. Again those already mentioned smooth hydrangea. Also here in parts, the big leaf hydrangea, panicle hydrangea, climbing hydrangea, and the schizophrygma hydrangea. 